Nothing is more important than the safety of our children. And with recent media reports having called into question the safety of artificial turf fields made with crumb rubber, parents are concerned. While these reports make a point to officially state that there is no evidence of any scientific link between these fields and health concerns, they imply a different message. Would I let my kids play in these fields? Absolutely. All four of my kids do play in these fields. It's a tremendous opportunity for them to get outside, be active. We're so grateful to have them. I'm convinced that they are safe. Despite claims that there is no hard data, the truth is there, and top scientists in the field of toxicology agree that crumb rubber is safe. My name is Michael Peterson. I'm a senior toxicologist and a board-certified toxicologist uh, with about 20 years of experience in human health risk assessment and applied toxicology. Michael says that the claim these products haven't been studied is simply wrong. There are dozens of scientific, peer-reviewed studies conducted by leading academics, state health agencies, and third parties since this issue was first raised as a concern in 2008. In, in short, our study found that there really is no reason uh, for concern related to exposures to chemicals in these fields. The simple presence of a chemical in a product does not mean there is some sort of inherent risk associated with that. Uh, for instance, uh, the video monitor you're probably watching this on right now, our iPhones, uh, the food we eat, all contain chemicals that at some dose or at some level um, could be hazardous. What you won't see in these news reports is that chemically, the rubber in recycled tires is the same rubber used in sneakers, sidewalks, asphalt highways and roads, garden hoses, strollers, gym floors, mouthpieces, and many other products widely recognized as completely safe. Crumb rubber is manufactured through a mechanical process that does not change the basic makeup of the original product. It also has lower levels of lead and heavy metals than the safe standard set by the Consumer Product Safety Commission for children's toys and the safe standard set by the Environmental Protection Agency for Urban and Rural Soil. So what science says that crumb rubber is unsafe? The Yale study, uh, as it's called, looked at tire crumb rubber and tried to determine uh, what chemicals would be extracted using a very harsh method. They essentially used methylene chloride, which is a common component of paint stripper, and soaked tire crumb rubber in that material and then looked at what chemicals came out. I probably don't need to say this, but that is not a very relevant exposure pathway compared to what you see in the real world. In addition, uh, the Yale study has not been peer-reviewed, and in fact, I don't even believe there is a published manuscript on this study. There's been a lot of misconception about the recycled rubber from tires used in many turf fields, and even the crumb rubber used as a safety layer in some playgrounds. Every parent has the right and even the duty to be concerned by scary news reports about something that could hurt our kids, which is why some parents have spent years poring over the evidence to separate fact from fiction. We're parents, we're not scientists, so we relied on the science and we came to understand that artificial turf is one of the most intensively studied consumer products in history. John Boyton is a concerned father of four and the president of CC at Play, a nonprofit formed on the basis of renovating his local high school's playing fields. We found that there's actually 20 years of research that's been undertaken into this specific question, and we determined that the science really has spoken clearly. We did not find any evidence of any health risk to our children. So on that basis, we made the decision to go forward with our design. Local school and city officials shouldn't have to evaluate the scientific analysis around turf fields on their own. States like Connecticut, Massachusetts, and Washington have conducted studies and looked at the research and found no safety concern with these fields. It's not just parents who are digging into the crumb rubber turf issue. Coaches like Jim Dorsey were concerned by the alarmist media reports and have taken it upon themselves 
to learn about the science behind the fiction. We presently have three artificial turf fields. Uh, our first fields went in about 13 or 14 years ago. My course of action primarily was just to research studies that I could find on the internet dealing with this issue. And based on their findings, um, there was just no correlation whatsoever that I could find in any of the things that I read that pointed, that pointed to the fact that crumb rubber could be an issue. The reality is, this is about rubber, not tires. And rubber has been an everyday part of American life for nearly 200 years. To claim it suddenly poses a health risk is false. Parents need to know that in this case, the science is clear. Turf with rubber is safe. You know, my children went to school here, played on these services while they were here. Uh, we have thousands of kids that come through, not only just our students here at McEachern High School, but our uh, youth leagues, our middle school programs utilize our fields day in. We literally have thousands of kids that have played on our fields over this 12, 13 year span and uh, have absolutely had no issues whatsoever. I think we need to keep the conversation focused on the science, keep it fact-based, and help parents and officials understand that these really are safe, they offer tremendous advantages, and there's no need for anxiety related to kids playing on them. The facts are that top scientists, concerned parents, and informed coaches all agree crumb rubber is safe. As far as I know, in the scientific peer-reviewed literature, there are no studies that have shown that turf is not safe.